In this GNS3 topology, you need to configure both DMVPNs as well as BGP. So on ISP router 3, show IP protocol. No protocols are enabled. I'll start with OSPF, network, advertise the loopback into OSPF, advertise network 8892. We can see that an OSPF neighbor relationship has been established. Show IP route. Hopefully we'll learn some routes through OSPF and we have. There's the loopback of router one, the loopback of router two. So router BGP 65,000. Neighbor will be the loopback of ISP router two. And we're going to specify the update source being our loopback. Networks that will advertise are 8890. Neighbor relationship has come up in the meantime. 88110. So show IP BGP. What I can do as well is advertise the loopback. Show IP route. We can see various routes. Show IP BGP. We are learning various BGP routes. Let's compare that to ISP router 1. Show IP BGP. Various routes have been learnt. Over here, took it a while, but now we do have the greater than sign, which means that those are the best routes. So show IP route now. We've learnt various BGP routes. So can we ping... ISP router 5, yes we can. Can we ping ISP router 4? Yes we can. So again, show run pipe section BGP shows us our BGP configuration on ISP router 1. Something similar was configured on ISP router 3. Now what I haven't done is configure a BGP relationship between ISP1 and ISP3. That is required because we haven't configured ISP2 as a route reflector. I'm gonna leave that mistake in the topology and then you'll see how that affects the DMVPN tunnels. The next thing we need to do is configure DHCP pools on the customer routers to allocate IP addresses to the Ubuntu clients. I'll start with customer router one. So on customer router one, show IP interface brief. We can see that IP addresses are configured on the router. What we need to do is set up a DHCP pool. And what we could do is set up an exclusion range so that the router doesn't allocate its own IP address to the client. It shouldn't do that, but it does happen sometimes. We'll then set up a DHCP pool of let's say PC with the relevant network and mask. Default router will be 10111. DNS server will be Google. So show IP DHCP binding. We can see that an IP address has been allocated to the Ubuntu client. Here's Ubuntu 1. ifconfig shows us that the IP address has been allocated. Route hyphen N shows us that the Ubuntu PC has a default gateway. I'm going to essentially do something very similar on the other routers. So if you want to skip ahead, then do that. But I'll go through this fairly quickly. We're essentially going to replicate what we did on router 1. So IP DHCP excluded address 10121 to 101210 ip dhcp pool pc network is 
to zero with the mask. Default router is 10121. DNS server is 8888. So show IP DHCP binding. No IP address has been allocated yet. Show IP interface brief. Interfaces look up. Did I make a mistake? That looks right. Show IP DHCP binding. No binding. What I'll do is turn off this Ubuntu client. Turn it on again. Open up a console. ifconfig shows us that it doesn't have an IP address. Cat Etsy network interfaces. This one hasn't been configured for DHCP. So nano Etsy network interfaces. I need to uncomment these two lines and then save the configuration. Turn off the Ubuntu client, start it up again, and then open up a console. As you can see, it's now obtained an IP address. So ifconfig shows us the IP address. Can it ping the router? Yes, it can. And back on the router show IP DHCP binding, we can see that an IP address was allocated. So that's good. Let's configure customer router 3 and customer router 4. Customer router 3 show IP interface brief. IP addresses are configured. IP DHCP pool. Let's do an exclusion range first. I'll exclude 1 to 10. We'll create a pool called PC. Network is 10.1.3.0. Default router is 10.1.3.1. DNS server is Google. Show IP DHCP binding. IP address has been allocated to the client. So that looks good. Here's customer router 4. Show IP interface brief. IP addresses are configured, so IP DHCP excluded range, 10.1.4.1 to 10.1.4.10. IP DHCP pool, PC network will be 10.1.4.0. With the subnet mask, default router will be 10.1.4.1. DNS server is Google. Show IP DHCP binding. IP address has been allocated to the client. So we've now configured DHCP pools on the client. Now we need to configure a full mesh DMVPN with customer one as the hub site. We'll initially use GRE without encryption.